Greetings, Hawklings, Cyber Dogs, and fellow fishing enthusiasts. I am back with Fishing Planet, guys. And I'm on a new lake this time. I happen to be on the North Carolina map. And I know Delacaba has done uh, some really, really good tutorials. But I'm just going to go ahead and just I basically fish. I mean, you know, I am... I don't know that I can improve on what he's done. I'm pretty sure I can't because he's pretty darn good. But we could just at least try our luck and try a few of the things that he's attempted. I think for the most part, though, on this one, I'm going to be trying to do my best to catch smallmouth. Now, I might be going after some largemouth here and there, but I really like catching smallmouth. That's always been a, a favorite of mine to go after. So... As <laughs> as Dula said, I hate the fact that they have to keep changing that stupid tension setting. Anyway, I've got a few rods here that I've set up. And let me go ahead and show you what I've got real quick here. I've got on my first rod, this one's set up so that it, I can basically use it for flow fishing. I'm not sure if I'm going to be doing any flow fishing at this time. But I might try my luck to see if I can't catch any uh, large or smallmouth bass. And my second rod, I'm going to probably use this, actually. I've got some a large third ounce spoon. I haven't used it yet, and I want to see just how well it works. And on my third, I've got the shad jig and a half ounce jig head. And I kind of want to see how I do with that. And I, I now also have, guys, a much larger basket. It can now hold up to, I believe, 33 pounds? I'm not sure. I think that's what it is. I wish they had, like, a little highlight so that you could see exactly what it does. And it probably does, and I just don't know how to do it. <laughs> anyway, let's go ahead and go back to the lake and see what we can do here, guys. Now, I have been here before, and I've had quite a bit of luck, but I want to try out this heavier spoon. I don't, they don't have the red and white in this color that I can afford yet, or at least I don't think they do. Um, I mean, I looked for it. It might have to be a higher level. All right, anyway, over here where I'm pointing my fishing pole, now this is where I caught a lot of smallmouth, and that's kind of what I'm trying to go after here. Whoa, I didn't mean to do that. I was trying to get up this... There we go. I want to get over here as far as I can get. There we go. Now, I believe that there is a bend around this rock, and that's where I had a lot of luck. I might have to come out here a little bit further, stand more on this rock to get to it. Like right here. Yeah, yeah that's right now I remember and that's about as far as I'm gonna get anyway let's try our luck over here now I threw it last time right next to this rock and did very well with the lift and drop the old standard lift and drop and the small mouths were just hitting it hard if I remember correctly last time I just practically threw it in the water but I didn't throw it out as far as I did this time so we'll see if these guys are interested and they are <laughs> they are interested Hmm, nice. Didn't take long, so I'm kind of pleased with that. Let's see what we got here. Ooh, not bad. Got a 2.5, approximately, 16 inch smallmouth bass. Yeah, we're keeping that, dude. Let's see, we'll try over here again. I'm going to try a little closer to the rock this time let it 
go. Got a little bit of a pausing there. I've been having that happen a lot. There we go again. Dag gone. Okay, I like this lure. I like this lure a lot. <laughs> I like this lure a lot. This is nice. It's a very nice. Come on, fishy. All right. God, I love catching smallmouth. They're probably the most fun. I've, you know, a lot of people love this largemouth, but I've always loved the way those smallmouth fight. I've actually had a smallmouth attack a jig head when I didn't have anything on it. <laughs> it just went after it and hit it. Pretty decent size, too. I swear if it moves in the water, they are so aggressive. Alright, dude, come on. See if we can catch your buddy. After this, I might. God bless. I'm telling you. That's the spot I like. That is the spot I like. And another. That's 2.4. Still a keeper. Alright, now I know there's other spots here like next to that log and over there, but I'm going to go to another area here real quick because I don't have a whole lot of time to do this, guys. Whoop. No, I don't want to leave. I want to go to the map. There we go. Let's see. I'm going to check out this part of the lake. Oh, yeah. I remember this, and where I had the luck on this one, for me personally, let's see if I can get out on these lot okay, was right just past this weed patch and into these rocks. Let's see if we can get us another fish. I was sure that was one that time. I think I'm getting snags. I know there's a big one in there waiting for me somewhere. Hmm. Very interesting. Not having a luck I was having a, the other day. Alright, we'll try over here. Come on, fresh. There we go. Okay, I need to get it, keep that tension up. Keep the tension up. Oh my goodness, check it out. A trophy bluegill. <laughs> I don't think I've ever caught one of those. Oh man, that's pretty. That is pretty. Yeah, I'll keep him. Trophy bluegill. Right over here. Huh. I'm gonna do that again. That was fun. Maybe 
maybe there's more. Didn't see. I knew it didn't seem like a bass the way it attacked. I mean, he went after a third ounce silver spoon. I thought I had one that time. Now we're going to see if we're going to get any uh, action over here by these weeds. To be perfectly honest, I have not fished this thing for anything except smallmouth and largemouth. So, I'm going to see if I can get any crappie or... Well, I got a bluegill. <laughs> there we go. We got somebody interested. And there we go. I don't know what we got here. A little pumpkin seed. All right. Maybe we can get us a trophy pumpkin seed. That'd be fun. Yeah, I like catching the panfish. They're not worth much, I know, but they're a lot of fun to catch. And I would love to get trophy ones. A trophy bluegill was a thrill. That was that was that was great. I've not gotten a trophy trophy bluegill before out of this, so I'm very pleased with that. I think somebody's interested. Yep. Yeah. I always have a habit of pulling my rod back. That's just a thing. Bait was eaten or lost. Alright, I think I'm going to go to the next lake because I wanted to do a little bit more smallmouth fishing, but I wanted to try my other lure. Let me see here. Now, for some reason, this really reminds me of the pond that used to be near where I used to live as a kid. My dad used to bring me to this pond all the time, and I'd go there by myself, even when I was like six years old. And I used to fish for panfish and small catfish with a cane pole. <laughs> and I don't know if you people know what a cane pole is, but it's exactly what it sounds like. It is a pole, just a cane pole with a string, literally, tied to the end that you wrap around the pole and put a bobber on. That's all. I mean, that's as basic as they get. I, I, I love them. I still do. I think that's one thing they need to add to this game. I wish they'd add a cane pole. Have some kind of like a, maybe a, a challenge where you see who's the, you know, who can catch the most panfish in the shortest amount of time with a cane pole. To me, that's a challenge. Anyway, guys, I'm going to switch over to my third pole here. And on this, I've got a shad and a jig. And I'm going to see if I can't land me something from over here. Now, I had quite a bit of luck over here, too. But I had to throw it right about there. Ah, shoot, I forgot about that stupid drag. Every time you change, every time you change. Alright, let's see if we can get anything's interested. Yeah, it seems like when I first start up my computer, I get a little bit of... A little bit of lag here and there. Just 
see if I can get anything to be interested here. If not, I know where I'm going to catch him. For sure. Uh, I knew that was going to happen. Oh man. I didn't think that was going to happen. <laughs> oh well. Usually don't have them break. Well, we'll just put a another jig on there. We'll put another shed on there and we'll be we'll try it again. Only I'm going to try it over here. I don't want to lose any more lures like that. I'm going to fish right here. This is a spot that I really liked. This is kind of like what I, in this pond where I was talking about, there was a huge log and that's where I fished from and I swear I used to get lots of them. Now we're going to see if the same holds true for this one. Now this is close, so... Ah, oh, good gosh. If I can just work this free, I might not be able to. Nope. Uh, looks like I'm going to have to go to my old fail safe here. My number two. Now I will see what I can get hit with this. I'm betting I will get something off of this. Maybe something a little bigger. See, it does, if it may snag, but it ain't gonna stay. fish right here then. Right in between these two logs. Stick ups is what we used to call them. this time it looks like. Oh yeah I am. <laughs> He's a little guy. I'm surprised he went after that big lure. All small mouths I swear. They will attack just about anything. Seriously aggressive little fish. Okay, this one's nice. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Ah. Oh. Got to watch that tension, I swear to God, it gets you every time. Sure, I had one that time. I might have to pull out Weapon X here. 
Yep, I'm pulling that weapon axe, guys. We're not messing around. We are not messing around. If all else fails... Bring out Weapon X. <laughs> and keep... God bless it. He is going to get off this hook. No, he didn't. That's a pretty fish. Large mouth. We'll keep him. Let's catch another largemouth here, guys. Might as well. Bit on the foggy side. There we go. Yep, told you I'd get another one. <laughs> That's almost a given, guys. Sorry. <laughs> That's a good spot. That is an excellent spot, guys. And. Since I've got no tackle in Lot 3, I'm going to try the old famous wax worms, which I've got quite a few. Why can't I equip? Oh, pfft. I'm on the wrong rod. There we go. Alright, we're going to see what we can find by way of panfish and I'm gonna try 30 inches to start with now the only problem I have found with this is if I get it too far what the heck oh tch, tension I thought it did the same thing it did earlier the only thing I've found is that if I put it right in between these, it'll float over and end up getting snagged. So I'm going to put it just a little in front of it. So if it does float down, it's not going to... Nothing's going to get it. And we'll see what we've got swimming down amongst the logs besides large mouths. Something's already got it. A black crappie. Now, if we get another black crappie, what I'm going to do is I'm going to lengthen it a little bit and see if we can't get something different. This is pretty much a haven for just about all kinds of fish. This one's a little bit bigger. Another crappie. So the crappie are at about 30 inches. Interesting. Let's try 60 and see what we get. I like to experiment. Let's see what the heck we have out here. He's fun. Haha, you so fun ya. 
see if they like red worms. And they do. They do. Oh wow. This one's a little bit of a fighter. Oh well. I tell you what guys. Let me go ahead and get one more large mouth bass. And we'll call this an episode. And I think this time I'm going to cast it right over here. Because I have had quite a bit of big ones come out of this part as well. Like I said, good way to end it. The 2.6 pound largemouth bass, that's pretty good. And Alright guys, please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe. And I will do some more fishing, just general fishing with you guys. And if there's anything you're interested in me trying... Just let me know in the comments below. But until next time, please be sure to check out Delacaba's channel as well. He's been doing these spots or the, um, the tutorials where he's been showing you all the best locations in all the maps. Because he is like seriously far ahead on me. <laughs> anyway, I will see you all next time guys. Bye bye.